In this video, we're talking about some nasty storms in the south that will continue to bring monster hail and flooding problems through tomorrow. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a slight risk of severe weather today with the 10% chance of that severe hail. And then we have to talk about the calm and cooler weather that will follow over the next week or so and how it looks like that won't last very long. Welcome back y'all, Ryan Hall here with the weather forecast. I'm sorry for my recent absence, it's been like 4 or 5 days since I posted. I'm just trying to spend as much time as possible with the family before my wife has to go back to work from a maternity leave and also before the weather pattern ramps back up. After tomorrow it looks pretty calm out there but I still believe that late April and early May are going to be really active with severe weather once again and we can talk more about that tomorrow during my members only live stream at 6 p.m. Eastern. That's right I'm doing a members only super in-depth live stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. and if you want to be a part of that it's really fun uh, make sure you become a member today. There's a link in the description and also there's a join button next to the subscribe button if you're on a PC. Now let's talk about the weather. All right, here's a big old look at the United States of America. And you can see we got a couple things going on. Looky here. We've got some April snow showers going on in Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, and parts of Saskatchewan and Manitoba. This isn't anything out of the ordinary. It snows up here in April all the time, but I'm sure it's annoying for them. <laughs> Don't worry though. I think that warmer weather is coming for you guys in the future. And then as we come down to the south here, we've got some rain showers moving into Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky. This will all be off to the east quite a bit by the time this video goes up into Ohio, maybe into to uh, West Virginia and Virginia there. Nothing severe is expected out of these. Now, if we go down to the south, you can see the yellow outline there. That's a slight risk of severe weather today. Once again, talking about those monster hailstones and maybe even some straight line damaging wind problems down here. Not much of a tornado threat. But if I zoom down in here on Louisiana, you can see those storms starting to bubble up right now. Now, this area of storms is gonna die out pretty quickly. But later today, after I post this video, more storms are gonna pop up. And those are the ones that we gotta watch. And we can talk more about that on the weather models. All right, you know what we're starting off with today, the high resolution rapid refresh model or the her. All right, let's push this forward and we're zoomed in here on the south central portion of the United States. I'm going to zoom out. We're going to talk about the whole United States here in a second, but I do want to focus on this area down here where that slight risk of severe weather is. Uh, watch it closely. Here we are at around uh, 12 p.m., 1 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. That's when those storms really start to fire up again down here in southern Louisiana. You can see those brighter reds and yellows down there. Once again, I do believe the New Orleans region needs to watch out for that hail uh, and all across southern Louisiana. And once again, guys, the, the hail isn't the only threat here. We're also going to have a slight risk for uh, some straight line damaging winds as well. And then as we go later on into the night, we've got some more storms forming up here in uh, northern Louisiana and western Mississippi. These storms will also have that risk there with some hail and some wind. Also, this is going to provide quite the light show tonight. Lightning and thunder is going to be off the charts over there as we go into 1 a.m. AM, but it looks like, you know, they, they try to weaken out before, you know, we get too late into the night, but we've got more storms forming over here in Texas, okay? That slight risk of severe weather does expand over here into Texas, and this is what that's kind of talking about. Uh, we do have a day two outlook as well, so we do have a marginal risk for severe weather over here, and this may be upgraded to a slight risk tomorrow, but it's associated with these same storms, okay? This, this whole area over here, it's just along a stationary boundary where storms are just going to keep popping up and popping up, and you can see that happening here around 3 a.m. tonight. We've got more storms down there in southern Louisiana. We've got some rumbles of thunder moving through eastern Texas into southern Arkansas. And right around here, around 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm concerned about some flash flooding going on here in eastern Texas, western Mississippi, and much of central Louisiana. Look at all these storms, and these are going to have heavy, tremendous rain with them. There's a lot of moisture down here for these storms to work with, so watch out for that flash flooding, all right? Flash flooding is the most overlooked portion of severe weather outbreaks. And it ends up causing the most problems usually, okay? Flash floods are deadly and they're really dangerous and they can be just as unpredictable and come out of nowhere as, you know, a straight line damaging windstorm or a tornado. Uh, so you got to make sure you take that seriously. If you live in a flood prone area down here in eastern Texas, central uh, Louisiana or western Mississippi, please make sure you're taking your precautions and just be ready and have some way of getting severe weather warnings tonight, all right? It could save your life. And look at all that rain, guys. It just continues to move off to the south and east. Noon tomorrow, we've got a, possibly a convective linear system uh, moving through southern Louisiana. Once again, there's that damn 
damaging wind threat. And then uh, up here on the northern side, we've got a lot of you know heavy rain, but all that will be below severe limits as we move on into the day on Wednesday and then late in the evening and early on the day Thursday, uh, we do have more storms forming down here in Southern Louisiana. So this whole area down here needs to be on high alert for severe weather and flash flooding. All right, it's just gonna be round after round after round going through. All right, now we're zooming out. We're looking at the whole United States of America and we're gonna do a medium range forecast for everybody. It's been a while since we've been able to do this because we've had to focus in on such uh, small areas because we've had severe weather event after a severe weather event so yeah today we're going to do the whole national forecast here and we're going to look all the way out into late april starting off with today once again there's our storms causing our severe weather down here in louisiana and then here's our big storm system up north causing our snow in manitoba saskatchewan north dakota minnesota this area up here let's put this into motion and let's see what happens with all this stuff this storm actually weakens out pretty quick it kind of just dissipates and goes into the void of nothingness but it does pull down some of that colder air a little bit further south into the united States. We're going to be talking about that colder air moving into the Des Moines and Cedar Rapids region. Michigan's going to be pretty cold, but a little change to the story here. We've got a little bit of a warm nose, a little bit of a ridge working into the mid-Atlantic and northeast regions. So it's actually going to be colder over here in Iowa than it will be in upstate New York, which is a little bit different than what we have been seeing over the last little bit as this little back uh, anti-cyclonic flow uh, moves some of that cold air back in through here. Around the same time, once again, this is Wednesday, April 14th at 5 a.m. Uh, we've got a little storm system over here on the Rockies, bringing some snow to Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Let's see what happens with all this as we push it into the future. There's just some more rain showers down here in the southeast. Once again, nothing severe expected there, but watch what happens here. This little energy sector really starts to spark up once it gets over the Atlantic Ocean, guys. We've got a little bit of, uh, you know, some warmer air moving up the coast here. So anytime we can get that energy to interact with that over here, sometimes we get an extra low pressure system that sparks up. This is the way a lot of times we get nor'easters in the winter. This is how we get big snowstorms. And look here, we've got the cold air in place. We've got the energy down here. You guessed it. We are talking about another snowstorm up here for the Northeast on Thursday and Friday. Look at that, guys. We're talking about possibly at 2 a.m. on Friday, April 16th. Heavy snow all the way down into central Connecticut, uh, much of western Massachusetts, upstate New York, southern Vermont. We're talking about heavy snow rates and a low pressure system that's right there off the coast of near Long Island, uh, just spinning up some heavy snow there for the interior regions of the Northeast. And it does make it all the way to the coast here, possibly on Friday uh, evening around 8 p.m. Once again, bringing these guys some snow after a very brief warm up there. Now, if you're on the coast here in Tom's River, New Jersey, New York City, uh, province Rhode Island Boston I don't think you guys are gonna see much snow at all from this this is gonna be an inland event but check this out we could be talking about over a foot of snow in the Adirondacks and the white and green mountains we're talking about 14 maybe 15 inches of snow and even in some of the valleys and some of the uh, areas that don't usually see a lot of snow this time of year could still see two to three four maybe even five inches of snow uh, from this storm up here in Vermont New Hampshire Massachusetts Connecticut and New York so at the same time that this snowstorm's going on we've also got another one going on over here in the west that's right wyoming nebraska colorado welcome to snowtown once again it's snowtown baby in the united states on april 16th we went from being in severe weather town tornado town and now we're back in snowtown it's like it's january all over again uh, we got two ongoing snowstorms here <laughs> on friday uh this one over here is going to bring some significant snow to uh northeastern colorado southwestern nebraska and northwestern kansas probably keep pushing this forward and let's see how far south that goes it doesn't go very far south uh, but that cold air does try to follow it all the way down into central kansas there on friday april 16th and let's keep pushing it forward that is going to bring some rain to the south and southeast once again it's too early to tell whether or not that's going to be severe or not but then as we keep pushing this forward man we are talking about quiet weather yeah we've got on and off rain showers and snow showers here and there and possibly some thunderstorms down here in the south but here we are on sunday monday tuesday like we're really quiet uh, other than our occasional uh, snow and rain shower system moving in from the north. And we've got some significant cold air now moving down into North and South Dakota on Tuesday, uh, bringing possibly some snow as far south as the panhandle of Oklahoma on April 20th. And then that's gonna move off to the east 
And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Other than, you know, it's pretty interesting to talk about snow this time of year, but other than our snow threats, we are really not talking about much at all, all the way through April 23rd. Um, however, it's after this that I do believe uh, the pattern's gonna kick back up. More than likely what's gonna happen is we're gonna have a big ridge form up here, move east, probably a couple days of really nice and warm weather in the Midwest and uh, the Ohio Valley points east. And then when that ridge gets about right here, we're gonna have some more of this cold there, try to cycle down into the Rocky Mountains and we'll have a boundary right here where in this area right here I do believe we're gonna see uh, our traditional uh, severe weather uh, season really spark up I think it's gonna be time to go storm chasing guys and just for fun here's the total snowfall expected over the next 240 hours according to the euro uh, once again that this snow comes quite a bit south uh, for April especially here in Kansas you got an area of two to four inches possible there all the way down into southern Kansas and then over here uh, near the coast we're talking about two to four inches as well so uh, I don't know man leave a comment down below and let me know where you live would you rather see snow in April or severe weather obviously neither of those are ideal but if you had to choose one in April which one would you choose all right guys that's all the weather talk I have for you today I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like on this video subscribe if you haven't already and turn those notifications on and guys I'm just gonna be honest with you I may not post every day during this quiet period of weather but I am gonna be working on some other videos that I plan on I'm posting here I plan on doing my home uh, weather station tour here and also the finished uh, video for the storm seeker truck okay goodbye Whoop.